So we're looking at the um, uh, one of the templates from uh, Teki, Ashodan, or Naihanshi, as we call it. I'm going to use uh, Damien Costello, uh, Renchi Damien Costello, as our, my, okay, thank you. So <clears throat> we looked here, uh, the, and look, at, it doesn't have to be a shove, it could be a grab, it could be a punch, but anything that comes through the straight line to the center line. Alternatively, the other percussive related impacts, <clears throat> excuse me, are uh, something that breaches the perimeter. They come in through the perimeter and they can be received in a little different fashion. This way the hand comes through. I'm all, as, I, as we mentioned earlier, I just, I basically want to check the hand and I want to take the knuckle and impact into the medial epicondyle portion. There's that electron on FOSS up there. If I could hit that funny one, that'd be great for me. As I do that, I'm going to push the hand down from here. I, and I'm, I use that Muchimi D adhesiveness, if you will, to push it down. If this hand, the hand's already coming around, hit, my, hit me in the face. Look, and look at it, could, or it'd be, it could be a grab, again, it could be anything. You, you see something similar in the multiple choki uh, uh, Juni Kihong, the, the 12 uh, Kumite drills as well. But, so it comes from here, I tap, and I, and I, and I, I receive it from here. The way I do it, I also tap a little headbutt into there as well. You're in proximity for it anyway, okay? You just be, have, have to be careful you don't hit the top of the head. And so, and, and I just, as I wanted to show you, uh, I, as I check that, I palm it down this way from here and seize it at the end, whilst I hit inside this. And as I hikite that hand or pull it back to my hip, the, the jaw turns to this position. And, and just quickly, I, I smash down on top of the face. That gives, when I hit down that way, I get that little brainstem twist again, sympathetic nervous system. It forces mass times acceleration, as you know that. And as I let go and hit up, I, I've got a nice solid impact. Slap it one way, hit it the other way. And then all I'm going to do from here, as I trap that hand and hit it, is I quickly grab from here. Look at, in the way that I describe cross-extended reflex from a pain withdrawal reflex action, you seize a hold of the hand, I, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure that that hand will come up. If not, it'll come to strike you. Either way, you have to be prepared for that. At that time, my hand's already here anyway, and I start to squeeze, and in the event that I can't get the squeeze, I tap the popliteal fossa, and then I apply the pressure from here. Sorry. And then I apply the pressure. So that template, subsequently, the, the when I say template, the solo reenactment of that practice then, is very simple. It came like this, here, 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 the hikite, there's the impact, there's the uppercut, there's the grab, there's the foot sweep, and there's the slide from there. And so, again, hair tap, hair headbutt if you can, slap and impact, grab his, the hands coming. I've already pulled from here, tap, there's a squeeze. We follow that up with <coughs> the impact to the face, sinking down from here in the same way that I do a sliding uh, strangulation or, or blood depression from here. I'm pushing that down from here. He's attacking my hand. I want to reinforce it, so I bring the guillotine underneath. <coughs> and if it was uh, if it was out of bus I die, I'm just going to move his hands. It was the technique from bus I die in the same way that Johnny Bones Jones used it against Machida when he in the clinch against the cage. He put the grapevine on him from here and squeezed the leg in. And only I'll just do it here. He had a closed fist here, and all he did was he cranked it up from here. He tapped before he got to like nine o'clock. And so there you see, here's the hook leg, you trap him in, and he squeezes it up like that. It's a classical template out of Basai Dai, used in a cage. So once again, we're talking about simple mechanics, applied science, uh, immutable principles. So the end result of that template looks like this. And then from here, I do this. And I showed you the last part of the drill was when I had the guillotine on it from here and he was squeezing with his hand, all I did was sweep the leg, mass, uh, uh, I get the mass falling, I want to make the force effect, the percussive effect, I sneak the knee up as he's falling down, and then I stamp on the leg. And then, so, of course, from here, if I want, after I stamp on the foot, I've still got the guillotine on him, I can take him from here and hyper avert the ankle. Or, in the technique we're going to look at next, which is the anaconda, I can grab a hold of him from here and just simply take him across. There's my guilt, oh, sorry, there's the guillotine. And just let him go from here. We'll follow up on the rest of this. This is where we're gonna go next. Are we good? Okay, okay thank you. Thanks.